Hey Clod Hoppers, just wanted to uh, talk to you today about what we do when our waters freeze for our animals. Um, it's been since sun, sorry, Saturday night, uh, it's been getting into freezing temperatures here in, in Texas. We've been trying to keep our waters for the animals uh, unfrozen as much as possible. So uh, let's get going. So as you can see here, I have our um, two bottles in from the rabbit so far um, in front of this infrared heater. Um, we'll put this in here for a few hours and to th let it thaw out, then we'll take them back out to the rabbits. That way they get water throughout the day. Okay, so we have a wa uh, this chicken waterer outside of their chicken coop. There's another one that we have hanging that we need to uh, switch out with another one. Um, but I'll do that whenever I let the uh, chickens out. Um, but we're trying to get those on a rotation system so that we can hopefully um, have one or two of those hanging ones thawing while one's outside. That way throughout the day we can just rotate them through and make it easier on everyone. Now I say it's been cold in Texas. I mean it hasn't been cold as it's been up in the uh, northern plains like in North Dakota or Minnesota but we've been getting uh, 20 degree weather at, as lows. Most nights uh, we had a few nights where it got into the upper teens which for December in early January that's cold for Texas so just trying to show you what how we deal with uh, water issues when it gets cold here on the homestead and uh, hopefully um, this can give you some ideas, but also maybe uh, you guys get some other ideas from it. So We have all nine waterers for the rabbits inside, thawing out in front of the infrared heater. And as soon as they're thawed out, we'll give them back out to the rabbits. Okay, so now I'm going to break up his ice using a turning fork. These are really good. For what I was doing uh, I figured it out yesterday to use it and it actually works really well uh, it does take a little bit of time but it's better than trying to use a stick or something and having not as much luck so although I think he's figured out how to break some of the ice too so let's get to it all right let me get you looking at what it looks like see it just looks like some broken up ice and our dog does like to take out those ice pieces out and lick on them don't you Colt all right now time to go to get, do the goats water all right let's get that goats ice done The goats are not used to having the camera that close to them so anyways um i think i need to add some water to this trough because there's not much water at the bottom so after breaking up some of the size i was getting close to the bottom the thing about doing uh using this tool when you have a plastic trough is it can sometimes poke holes in your trough if you're not careful so i try to be as careful as possible so that it helps to uh, not poke holes in it and the same goes with the dog's uh, trough also. Let me get some water for them and then we'll be good to go with them. All right, so now I'm gonna go give the chickens their water and give uh, some water to the goats.
one more time, Cindy. So I just want to show you guys where we put the uh, waterers to let them heat up for the chickens. We have a, a towel out, out in the kitchen that we've been putting them in the last couple of days um, because when we put them in the in the bathroom, they were um, in the way and we're getting water everywhere. So we decided to put them in here on a towel. Um, if it's not here, then we usually put them in a bathtub like so. And then that way when the water go, gets out of it or when the water thaws, and the water level rises, it pushes it out and onto the into the tub and down the drain instead of on the floor and up against things that the, that the water doesn't need to be up against. So some of you homesters may be wondering why I'm putting such an emphasis on um, frozen waters and why we need to get the animals' waters um, unfrozen. If you're new to homesteading and new to having animals around, it is important that your animals still have water even in the cold uh, cold of winter because they can suffer from dehydration dehydration just as much in cold weather as they can in hot weather. So it's important that they get the water um, to, cut, to help stay healthy and be able to um, not dehydrate and also be able to digest their food um, which is another thing we've been increasing a little bit of their food for all the animals just so that they um, get enough food um, to stay warm and also the act of actually eating does warm them up some okay one last thing I want to show you guys is that yes there's still a little bit of ice in their um, bottles but that's how it was whenever I brought them out and it's been in the 40s this afternoon so um, it hasn't the water hasn't re uh, refrozen and the important test is to make sure that the water comes out of the nipple now the nipples that we use are the ones that have the two balls in the in it um, we don't use the one that has the little lifting one that you that they um, put their tongue on lift up and it lets the water out um, those can uh, can cause leaking more often than these do um, because the two balls next to each other helps to create enough of a seal that water doesn't come through unless you push up one of the um, one of the bottles I have two cats running around me <laughs> sorry so this is a thing we have to do every single day when there's freezing weather outside and I know a lot of you guys that are homesteaders north of Texas uh, deal with freezing weather a lot through the winter and so you guys probably already know about this but for those of you who don't this is just a little uh, tidbit of information I wanted to share with you guys on how we deal with freezing weather with our animals so you guys have a blessed day bye clodhoppers thanks for watching the video push the thumbs up to like the video also hit that subscribe button also the bell so that you can get notifications when our videos come out check us out on our social media pages too we have facebook and pinterest and soon we'll have instagram the links are below bye y'all <laughs>